very direct. I ask you both, what do you believe the role of government is? I think the role of government is to provide the climate for businesses to grow, for example, with research and development, to make sure that the seed money is there for new industries, such as our green technology industries, giving them a tax break, for example, for longer than two years, but put extended so that those industries can get up going until those industries can be out on the private market themselves. The role of government is to help the poorest among us, and it's to provide Certainly, the, for the defense of this country, being one of the most important things that the role of government is. No, I, I would say the role of government is more of an overseer. And if, I really think that when we talk about what's happened in this country, a government again, and, I, and I'm going to repeat this because this is the problem, a government that is so overregulated, so intrusive, so overtaxed, and then by the same time we say, well, we just want to eliminate the tax loopholes. Why do you think these businesses are leaving this country? They're being penalized to stay here. We have, listen, we have to level the playing field. Now, I'm not saying anything about who we should tax and who we shouldn't tax. And quite frankly, I'm getting tired of hearing about this class warfare because if I can pit you against somebody else, then you say, well, fine. And we talk about only raising the taxes on the wealthiest 2%. And that makes us all pretty good because we feel we're in that 98% that's below. Now, who determines who the wealthiest are? The government. It's small businessmen. I'm telling you, these are not the wealthiest people out there. These are the job creators. Who have we penalized the most? The working people. Now, when we talk about taking care of people in corporate greed, believe me, there isn't a day that doesn't go by that somebody doesn't come and see me and say, you know what? We've got a little league team we need funded. We've got a band that's going away. We need help. Who helps more than anybody than the small business people? All of the charity that you're going to find in this country does not need to come from a government who decides who gets it, who doesn't get it. It needs to come from the people who are profitable. And I got to tell you, it's all fixable. It's all fixable. Going up and down 79 in this country, I don't see a country that's in trouble. I see a country that has unlimited potential. I don't look at a government that has to oversee, over-regulate, and get so involved in our lives, we can't even pick what country we're going to be able to see in the future. And better than if you're a senior. You're not going to be able to see anybody. It's going to get rationed. When you add 35 to 30,000 more people to a system that's already overloaded, and then you tell them, don't worry about it, you'll be all right. I'm telling you right now, I've talked to the seniors. Is it fair that they can't put their head in a pillow at night and sleep because they're afraid of what their government's going to take from them next? 